Here's a video of how I have my Holly Pro Dash set up to display the gear indicators on my 78 Malibu. So what I done is I went to a U-Pull yard and I found some suspension sensors from a Ford uh, Crown Victoria in the mid 90s, early to mid 90s I believe, and the Lincoln Navigators. Uh, they both have the same sensors and these sensors already come with two bolt holes and, the, and they are relatively small. Uh, just be sure you get the connector with it. Uh, they cost seven dollars right from the U-Pullet Yard. Pretty cheap uh, setup. Um, it is going to require some fabrication to uh, you know mount it to the side of your transmission. This is a 4L80 and uh, basically a little bit of fabrication, some welding and some linkage will get you uh, set up in that department. So now let's go to the Holly setup in the uh, in your Holly software. So basically you'll want to put or actually create a input and mine is called shifter position and create it using a custom 5 volt because those uh, suspension sensors off the Fords are 0 to 5 volts. And the format uh, I chose is 1.23 you know, two decimals after uh, you know the point. The calibration table I just went from 0 to 5 and that would be the shifter position and the voltage uh, is again 0 to 5 to make it easy. So basically they just match each other. Uh, it's not really critical just as long as you get you know 0 to 5 volts displaying on your uh, Pro Dash. And uh, once you have that let's go to the Pro Dash and I will show you how to set up those screens. Alright, um, let me get it to the dash that I need. Alright, I have already got a few of these made to, to uh, display park reverse neutral drive and all that stuff. So what you want to do is put your shifter in park and look at the display you know of the voltage that the sensor is reading and take note of that voltage so you want to uh, actually you want to create a gauge first shifter position on your dash so you can act, so you can read uh, the voltage and after you do that you can take and see that every time you move it you get a, a reading Alright, um, right now I have already got park, reverse, neutral, four, and three, but I don't have two and I don't have one. So I'm going to place my shifter in second gear and I'm going to go to menu, customize, and then I'm going to add a gauge. And then I'm going to find my input of the shifter position and create a symbol for the gauge. It's not technically a symbol, uh, but we are going to go into this and customize it. And on the label, you simply just want to clear that out. And since I'm on second gear, I want to put a 2 there and then click enter and my font size is 60 alright so now we have a separate gauge up here for number two gear and the warnings you want to go into the warnings next and you want to enable low and high warnings and in these warnings, the low warning, you want to have your uh, 
warnings below this reading right here. So for this one, it needs to be 3.6. And do the same thing for this one. 3.6. Click OK. The high warnings should be above that reading. So this should be 3.9 and 3.9. Right now, the way I like to do it is uh, the normal display on your dash after you save it for this is going to be this color here, the normal color. I you know, change it whatever you want. I've got mine to green for this example. And to make it blend into a back, a black uh, background, you just simply change the rest of the warning colors to black. And then you save it. And let me move this down in sequence with this and then save your gauge. So there is the number two display without the other ones. And if I go to three, the two disappears. And if I had number one set up, it would also show number one. And that's the way I have done it on my car.